Hi, I'm Vicki Ann from Creative Recruiters. My experience tells me that one of the most critical times for a business is when you're bringing in someone new. Yet, this is the time when I see many common mistakes being made. We've all felt the pain when the new person you were so thrilled in bringing on board after searching for them for what felt like forever resigns. At first you feel shock, then sadness, and then sometimes anger, and they're all within minutes of each other. Shaking your head, you say you figured the person would be thrilled to be working with you, that they'd simply slot right in without your involvement. You remember about the last minute business trip you made, which meant you missed their first day. You recall you promised a job description, but decided it was such an evolving role that you'd let them create it themselves from scratch, but never mentioned that. These all sound like genuine reasons for not focusing on new hires, yet there's some examples of why these new hires get frustrated from day one and end up surprising you with their resignation. When a new hire doesn't work out, it can reverberate through your entire business in a really negative way. The cost to everyone, not just in time, but also on an emotional level, can be truly damaging to your culture. So I thought I'd share with you my top five must-dos when bringing someone into your team. Number one, show them they're an important addition to your team. If you said you were going to be there to meet with them on their first day, then make sure you are. Emergencies will happen, however, if they do, you need to put someone else in your place and be sure to still put in a welcome call to them on their first day. Number two, introduce them to staff members and show them around the premises. Some organisations may be too big to introduce your new team member to everyone. However, they should still be introduced to everyone in their team and those in the wider teams with which they'll have the most initial contact. Big tip, make sure everyone knows the new team member is starting. There's nothing worse for the new person when a shocked face shows that they weren't expected. Orientation is particularly important for your new team member, so make sure you show them where their desk is, where your desk is, where the nearest bathroom is, and what coffee and tea making facilities they are, there are. Whilst doing this, be sure to chat to them about your culture with regards to breaks, how you like the phone answered, what your policies on printing, recycling, personal phone calls, internet usage, etc. is. Three, have a position description, whether it's evolving or not ready. Spend the first hour or so running through the role and your expectations of it. Set goals for the first, second, third and fourth weeks and review the results at the end of each week. And be thorough. There's no such thing as bad feedback, just the manner in which you give it. Remember, this is the time when you can expect that things may not be done perfectly, so don't show your frustration. Instead, embrace this as a time of learning and breaking old habits to create new ones. Number four, have an open door policy. Having a new teammate feel that you're not approachable to ask the silly questions is guaranteed to be a disaster. Be sure your new hire knows that you expect questions and that, in fact, if they don't ask any, you'll actually be really concerned. When they come to you with a question, ask yourself this, in order to ensure that they don't have to ask me this question again, is it training they need or is it the, per the permission that they need to do the job? By giving either training or permission, you will inject your new teammate with the knowledge they need to feel empowered. Five. Keep an eye on how your wider team welcomes them. This is critical. Some people simply don't gel with others. This is a well-known fact and sometimes it has disastrous consequences for a new teammate and you when this is ignored. Particularly if the hire was somewhat political one internally, it's your job to manage this, not your new staff member. Keep an eye on whether they're invited to join people for lunch, whether they're being included in social activities, um, and whether they're being heard during team discussions. If you don't see these things happening and you do nothing about it, I'll guarantee you one thing, the pain of resignation. There are, of course, many other critical factors. However, mostly it comes down to good manners and respect and consideration for the new addition to your team. Starting a new job for many is a really exciting time, which also means emotions are running high, as are the sensitivities related to whether this is going to work out or not. So manage this and manage it closely. At Creative Recruiters, we're with you every step of the way. We have our own processes in place to assist you with your onboarding process. If you're interested in learning more about them, my contact details are, of course, at the bottom of the screen. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.